All right. But before we get started, I want to talk about something that, um, you know, happened in the wrestling world today. So let me just uh, click this over here. All right. So for those who are, hang on, I need to get my Twitch chat up on another thing here. Hang on. Okay, so for those who are unaware, all right, this is this is this isn't just wrestling in general. This is something that's becoming quite an issue in many fandoms on the internet, and it's just you know there is a lot of toxicity in a lot of fandoms these days, whether it's wrestling, whether it's anime fandom, whether it's reality show fandom. Uh, there's a lot of toxicity going on these days, and fortunately today, you know, we had to see what that can do to people firsthand. Earlier today, probably, I want to say, sometime this afternoon, my time, uh, Stardom wrestler Hana Kimura posted some very um, worrying and very suicidal tweets and some stuff on Instagram. It's all been deleted, and apparently people have checked in on her. Uh, she's okay now, and hopefully, thankfully nothing happened. But the point is, um, this all stems to her appearance on a reality show called Terrace House. It's it's big on Netflix right now. It's, it's a Japanese reality show. It's Netflix exclusive, where three men, three women, they all live in the same house together, and the whole goal is to find love and friendship and Blah, blah, blah. And apparently on this show there was an incident where... I haven't watched it myself, so I don't know the full context. But some guy or girl, I don't know. All I know is that it involves something with a wrestling gear, and she got mad at him. And basically, uh, some people thought she overreacted. So people just started harassing her. And she's gotten hundreds of hate mail and hate tweets since then, apparently. So, yeah. And unfortunately, it almost got to her today, to the point where she almost probably killed herself. She's apparently safe now. But I just want to say, like, if you're going to judge somebody based on how they act in a 40-minute episode of a TV show, like, you need to rethink your... Of, need to rethink that in general. You need to rethink who you are as a person. These people all are all, everyone's human. Everyone will, you know, especially someone like Hana Kamara who was raised as a wrestler. Like, wrestling has been her life. So maybe the way she reacts to things isn't going to be like how normal people react to things. I just think it's important to know that words can hurt. You know, Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will hurt you. That's that's a lie. That is, like words can hurt. There will there is a word for everybody that will hurt them. So, but yeah, because of a ton of dumb people, we almost lost a really talented wrestler today. And I just think it's important to know that. You know, you need to take a step back. You know, if you're really like Terrace House, I think if, I I watched a few. I used to watch like some episodes of it, uh, and then I just get bored of the show after like half a season and stop watching. But like, you know, yeah, each episode's like forty minutes, and that's of like all. I think every episode is like a week in the house, so that's about forty minutes of an entire week. They're obviously only going to show you the most interesting things that happen in the house. Like, Hannah could have been the nicest person in the house, but they didn't show that because, well, you know, that wouldn't get people watching. 
you know, it's the dramatic stuff and the interesting stuff that's going to get people watching. So, like, I just want to send love this way to Hannah Kimura. She's a great wrestler. I've only watched, like, a tiny bit of stardom, but she was she was the highlight of the time that I watched of it. She's definitely a future star. So, yeah, we almost lost her today. So, I just wanted to say that uh, to anyone who bullies people online or says stuff like this to people, like, I've read some things today that were just shocking. Like, even after she po she posted those tweets, people were still trying to get on their high horse. Like, oh, yeah, and her behavior was inexcusable. No, your behavior is the thing that's inexcusable. I just wanted to say that if you – it's mostly Japanese tweets, so I'm sure they can't understand me right now. But if you – you're a fan of Terrace House, and you sent hate towards this person. I wouldn't want you watching my stream. I'd just throw that out there. Mental health is a serious issue, and it's only getting worse. So, stuff like this can be avoided if people just treat each other with more respect. And don't hate each and don't hate on someone over a, a five minute argument they had in a TV show that's forty minutes per episode and covers an entire week of content. I guarantee you there are plenty of moments that they didn't show of her that could have been you know, that would have shown her as a really nice person. Because there's so many interviews that she has done and so many appearances that she has done that has proven that she is a nice person. Could have just been having a bad day that day and flipped out at him. But either way, that's nothing to send hate mail over. It's a freaking TV show. But uh, yeah, I just I just thought this was important to talk about because it's very serious. And you know, I'm just sick of people, or I'm just sick of seeing people like commit suicide and all this. So it's a very serious issue for me. So. And especially after the week wrestling fans have had with Shad losing his life, I don't think we need to lose another. Especially someone as young as this woman is. So yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna clip this, highlight this. I'm just gonna have it on my Twitch channel because it's very important. Um, you know, I hope I got my point across, but it's very important to me. And yeah. Tokyo Cyber Squad. Tokyo Cyber Squad is number one. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Ew.